Harbor Freight's icon. The key information is right here. Flex head, one half inch drive. Now the torque range, you might want to pay attention. Don't know what your application may be, but this is 50 to 250 foot pounds. And when you get to look at some of the torque ranges on different, some of the cheaper torque wrenches, they can kind of be all over the place. And some will only cap out at about 150 foot-pounds. The flex head, I think, is worth another $30. This wrench is $140 plus tax at Harbor Freight. The engravings are, they call it roll mark, but they can't wear off or scratch off. The knurling feels good. The slip collar feels really good. It has a good firm lock when it does lock in place. And it's right at two foot long. We'll throw a tape on it when I get it out. Another thing to consider for only $10, is this set. I went ahead and got the impact. They'll work just fine with standard hand tools also. It's a four-piece impact extension set. I kind of like the sizes. They call it inch and three-quarter, two and a half, four and a quarter, and nine and a quarter. Somewhat odd, but I think these two will be just right for helping me get just a little bit more extended reach on torquing the wheels on the fifth wheel RV and on my truck. Comes in a really nice locking case. Not locking, but has a clasp on it. See-through window on top. Does come with some paperwork, manual, owner's manual. Some accuracy testing and some actual readings to show that it's within the margin for error, which is fairly low, plus or minus three or four percent. Close enough for what we're doing. You're supposed to store a torque wrench on the minimal setting. In this case, it should be stored on 50, and it was. I went ahead and ran it up to 100. We're going to start out torquing the Ram 2500. After we rotated the tires, we're going to, I think we're going to end up at 130 to 135 foot-pounds of torque, but I'm going to go to 110 for now after tightening it up by hand with the four-way lug wrench. Four, five. I think that should be 106 foot-pounds. 108. We're set on 110. Might be very hard to read it, but you have your number up here, a little dog leg marking that comes out, angles down, and then comes back in. Real easy to see once you have it in your hands. We'll set it on 110, drive a few miles. Well, with the tape right in the middle of the half inch square drive, she sets right at 23 and a half inches long. It's a 90 tooth ratchet too. It's got it engraved right here. That's pretty nice, because you can get in a bind on some of them coarse tooth ratchets. These lug bolts have not been tightened yet with a torque wrench. They've only been put on and snugged up. Now I'm going to do what I typically do, is just use a four-way lug wrench. The four-way lug wrench is a seven-eighths of an inch size. I'll give you an idea here how it fits. Here's a 22 millimeter. This is an impact socket, but this is what I'm going to carry on the Icon torque wrench. Really good fit. They both fit it well. I can gain on these, not much. Now let's torque them. Okay, these lug bolts want to end up at about 130 to 135 foot-pounds of torque. We're going to go to 110. Wow. Well, that's a nice snap. That snap is unbelievable. Very reassuring. I like that. I would not have thought I would have gained that much over my four-way lug wrench. But trying to get the proper torque with the four-way lug wrench can be deceptive. And the 90 tooth, check out the 90 tooth. You can pretty much pick your spot. Here straight. If I come up any closer, I'm kind of hugging the fender here. I can come out just a little bit.
kind of lost track where I was on my star pattern. Okay, we'll do that on all four. And then also, after I travel about 10 to 25 miles, I'm going to take that torque up to 130 or 135 foot-pounds. We'll try it out on the RV now. Okay, we're gonna to torque the wheel lugs on our RV. It is a 35-foot Sprinter by Keystone. These are 16-inch wheels. On this trailer, we just put new tires on it. And I just mounted the wheels by hand with a four-way lug wrench, just kind of snug them up. The max torque I'm gonna to put on these, these are one-half-inch lugs, and it is imprinted right on the lug nuts, one-half, just on one of the one of the sides you'll have to rotate it but usually you can find it if you don't know what it is otherwise you need to measure the stud but these are one half oh also they are a cone style torque rating on these are 90 to 100 i'm not going to exceed 100 say the wheels have been off new tires have been mounted the tires have been put on tightened up by hand it hasn't rolled any i'm going to torque them to 80 foot pounds then i'm going to drive it 10 miles and pull over i'm going to go to 90. then i'm going to go about 20 to 25 miles and i'm going to go to 100 foot pounds right now we're going to go to 80. Now let's take a look at the value of the flex head. Had this not been a flex head, now we're straight. We're clearly inside the fender. All your motions are going to be below the fender here. All of your tightening. It's going to look like that. With the flex head, you can come out up here. Now you can clear the fender. You can clear the skirting. It only goes 15 degrees max. So I think that's worth the price of admission by itself. I just remember, do your own research on your tires, on your wheels, on your lugs. Make sure you get the size right. Make sure you get the torque specifications right. There's a lot of different wrenches to pick from. They'll run anywhere from $25 on up to $500 if you want to go to one of the, some of the tool truck brands. You could easily spend four or $500 on a half inch drive torque wrench. Also, from what I understand, with the aluminum wheels and the or the alloy wheels, it's even more important to get your torque specifications right. If you were just tightening up that lug nut up against a steel wheel, I don't think it's going to matter much as long as it's tight. But impacts have destroyed alloy wheels, and they will continue to do so. Okay, this set up with a deep well socket and about a two and a half inch extension. There's the max 15 degrees flex. So it looks like you could clear the fender fairing out here if you get to maybe a six to seven inch extension to come out here. Personally, I never did like the feeling of a long extension, six to 10 inches on the end of a torque wrench. I'm always suspect of the, of the actual torque I'm getting to the nut. This socket is a 19 millimeter, six point deep well impact. On the sizing, this is a three quarter inch, six point, just a typical four way lug wrench. Pretty good fit. This is 19 millimeter, six point. Extension always puts a little bit of slop in it. Both of them fit just about exactly the same, I think. The difference would be in the thousandths of an inch. And as long as they're six point, you're not gonna have any trouble. If there's one thing you take away from this, let it be that you just don't tighten these and forget them. If you're getting ready to travel across the country, if you're getting ready to make a thousand mile trip, it doesn't hurt anything to check them halfway through the trip. Before you head out on the return trip or head out on another leg, it wouldn't hurt a thing to go ahead and set your torque wrench up and check every lug bolt on your vehicle and your trailer. There's plenty of nightmare stories out there where guys are going down the road and the wheel just rolls off. And it's just from the simple fact that the lug bolts got loose. If you watch the videos and do your research, you'll find out these trailers have a lot of side load happen to them. This does not happen to your vehicle. It won't happen to your tow vehicle or your automobile, but it happens on trailers. When you turn these, you watch the action of these tires and these wheels when you turn them 90 degrees and you get into a, a really bad bind and you're trying to turn them, this entire wheel will get into a situation when you're turning right 
it will scoot this way. It will scoot in and not have any forward motion at all. The entire wheel will just scoot and drag on the asphalt or the gravel. This one, the front one will be just the opposite. You're turning right, the back tire will scoot this way, 100% side play, no forward motion. The front tire, front axle, it's going to go the opposite. So this wheel is wanting to rip off from the outside. That wheel is wanting to push in against the lugs. And that's why the trailer tires are so critical to keep them tight and to keep them torqued, especially with alloy wheels. And a lot of trailers nowadays are coming out with alloy wheels. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions out there, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. Have a good one and travel safe.